One of the challenges we face in a lot of our industrial storage is to distinguish the difference between free-flowing bulk solids and those which are not free-flowing. And it's the non-free-flowing products which will normally give difficulty in discharging from a silo if the silo isn't correctly designed. So what's the difference? Well, with a lot of silos that we construct, particularly for grain and um, plastic pellets, etc., the product flows easily out of the silo. It's a granular material and flows easily. So we can have product in a silo like this, and when it comes to empty, we get a funnel flow uh, where the product just runs freely out of the silo. Not all free flowing products flow with funnel flow, but most do. The problem we have with a lot of the more difficult to handle products, and we're looking at materials like ammonium nitrate, a lot of the meals like canola meal or soy meal, which is stored in, in silos for stock feed manufacture, or even specialised industrial products like milled wood fibre and the like, is that they don't easily flow. They tend to want to either uh, bridge over the outlet or they'll rat hole where you end up with product dropping out the middle of the side but not properly running out. So what we do in those cases, we have to design a bin where the flow mode is mass flow. And what mass flow is when you fill product into a silo and it goes to empty out, all of the product is flowing out on mass. So it's all flowing down. You don't have this funnel flow effect, but you have mass flow. Often we find that silos which are not emptying correctly are fitted with things like vibrators, air hammers, and other discharge devices. It's our belief here at Kotza that um, Fitting those types of devices is really only trying to solve an issue with a bin which has been poorly designed in the first place. So our aim is, our goal is to design that silo correctly in the first instance so we don't need to add these flow aids later. So how do we go about ensuring we have a silo design which will reliably discharge? The first thing we need to do is ensure that we understand the material's properties. There are a range of properties which can be used to calculate the bin geometry and things like the, the bin hopper surface material and the design of the, the outlet. Once we have this information, we can then design the bin with the appropriate hopper angle, the appropriate hopper friction material, uh, the discharge geometry, it might be something like a plain flow hopper, and the screw discharger that might fit underneath that. Once we bring the whole puzzle together, we can provide a storage solution that we know will be reliable and provide good uh, serviceability to the client. Our systematic approach to bin design has allowed us to provide solutions for a whole range of difficult to store products. Products such as meals for stock feed production, wood fibre, ammonium nitrate, dried distillers grain, and, uh, and many, many more. If you have a difficult to store product, come and see us for a solution.